them. They yeah. won't come out for us. They can't come out for us, but they came out for theirs, bro. Come and speak up. Come on, man. Get me mad. Blood. Blood, we've not cancelled nothing for the racist, them fam. Where, where's Press TV? Not, uh, where's, where's the guy? Come to you, uncle. Go to you. Say something. The prophet's about to speak, everybody, yeah? Yeah, all yeah. 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 And lay it down, yeah, like you do, yeah? Lay it down. Come on. This is our elder. Can I just say we need to have respect for our elders, you get me? They paved the way for us, yeah? So can I want right. to First and foremost, yeah. Um I wanna give thanks and praise to our ancestors. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, the people right. them who come before us. Yes. The people them that came here and fought to build this country. Yeah. The people them that the people them came in and worked in that built the NHS. The NHS was 70. That was it last year. It was 70 years old. Itepe neke jea senede. Divine peace, long life, stability, and good health to all African people globally. You know, say. England may transmit from it. Somebody say I'm gonna know that directly. And there's been various issues, demonstrations to the death of George Floyd. And I'm empathetic with that. You understand me? Because I feel it. You know, and me send out something already and me now go over that again. A different leak this one yeah. And me feel it's a bit hypocritical for we as black people still. In the way that we're demonstrating and mass, yes, we, we for show sure our distaste and our vexation. But we must show that same amount when we're killing our own. Me expect the enemy to kill me, you know. Me expect white boy them and all them people to kill me, you know. Me expect that. Because that they might do it for years and years. You know, enslavement, etc. You understand me? Women expect. Is we a kill each other. You understand me, I say. Where for we a cup in a black people. And as them say, smell the blows and skirt coffee and coffee black. You see me I deal with. We are the ones who are allowing the enemy to kill us randomly. Police anywhere in the world no good. They abuse power. Power corrupts. With great power comes great responsibility. And most of these people them who don themselves in uniforms do not know how to administer and control the power they have. So this thing is all about power. The power to initiate and make people do what they, you want them to do. Who's a police boy if you tell you, say, shut your mouth and don't talk? How would them feel in my blouse and skirt talk to? Them children? Police, police boy, cause that we call them. Wanna stop big man like me and tell me, me for shut my mouth. One boy could be my, could be my son. Or even my daughter. Them don't have no respect. You know, see them push on the, the whole white man, 75 year old. Nearly kill him. I tell black people this all the time. If you want to know how these people them will treat you or how they have been treating you like that with impunity and callousness, watch how them deal with them own people. No, in a Bristol, them tear down one statue of one white man called, um, um, me not care my bread. Name again? Edward, Edward Carston. One man who was engaged in the enslavement of African people on a big level. You see, you, you see, like, you see, the, oh, 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 we can make you young people and people who's unaware or unafricated about the stench of the enslavement of our people. All right. You know, them big juggernaut, um, 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 ship them, them have when they bring over the container of them. And I'm sure you the container when it reached the wharf. That's all they was packing our people them in ships. You understand me? And this man your Carl Stan was one of them who engaged in the business of capturing Africans and trading them. You understand what me as try said to you? And the people them go up at Bristol and them tear down the statue 
which should never have been there in the first place. The biggest world. You understand me, I say? Bristol was made, was created. Bristol, London, Liverpool, Manchester, Coventry. All of them city there is all for the enslavement of African people, the abuse. So what are we going to use to change around ourselves now, in a, this time, in this moment that has been captured on the global media? Don't tell me about Black Lives Matter. I know they, they kill each other. In the gangs, in the favelas, in Soweto, in Lagos, Kingston. You understand me, I say? Yeah? Los Angeles, Chicago, all you young black men who supposed to be our soldiers, our protectors against the wicked. Just a murder each other. Don't tell me black lives matter. And African people in South Africa, I kill other Africans, I call them foreigner. And white man and Indian turn up there. And when I kill you, no people say, I them stop from from the job. Oh, you think you end up in a situation, you end up in South Africa and Zimbabwe and all the other places we are. Oh, you think you arrived there. Somebody who don't look like you invade your territory and work with the traitor them. White man couldn't take over Africa if it wasn't for other Africans assisting them. Betrayal, treasonous people. Two things them will hear, them did have. They had military power in terms of gun. So they can stand five, six hundred yards away from you and shut it down and them cannon. And then traitors. It's the same thing them do to the Native American in United Snakes of America. It was other Native Americans helping them. I work with the French, the Dutch, the British. If we fight against each other, let's tell the truth. Let's not pretty up this thing. Man, I there from me. Nothing pretty enough. And we have them traitors today. That's everything is spirit, you know, and energy. And that energy of treason lives amongst us today. You understand what I'm saying to you? Young black men, rise up. Yes, I know a man, a man kill your brethren. Kill one of your man them. Yeah, kill one of your sister in them. But if we continue that cycle, it will never stop. You go to jail. You bring the same nonsense in jail. And your real enemy looks on you and laughs. We have a very significant time in eternity. To change things around. We can do it. If we really want to do it. We can make that change. The Home Secretary Pretty Patel. Or Petty Patel. Whatever her name is. Said it was illegal. What the demonstrators did. And let me mark, mark my words. It was mainly white people. That tore down. That statue and throw it in the sea that was symbolic because those are the descendants of the people them that instigated the enslavement of our people don't you see how karma is a bitch how fitting it was for them to tear it down and the police sat aside why because they were white 99% of them was white. You think that's a, a, a one black spot we say in it? Eh? You oversell me, I say. The majority of them was white. So that's why the police didn't attack them. If that was a demonstration of pure black people, you see how could the police would have come in with them button and all kind of something. And yet still politicians in this country influential people want to debate whether it was right or whether it was wrong and they the um the perpetrators must be tracked down and they must be prosecuted prosecuted for what so 
pretty Patel, me, me ask you a question. Because I know no government people watch them thing ya. Me, me ask you a question. What you would I do if them go tear down Gandhi, um, um, Gandhi, um, um, statue? Eh? Because them should tear down film statue to come with a racist in blows and screw herself. But people don't read and don't know history. We believe in me just peace, but I never like black people. Remember me telling you that. You understand me, I say. So me not come here for pet, pet and pamper and pretty up nothing. We African people have to start capturing us. Enough of you black, you out there and you black people out there don't even believe. Don't even want to identify with Africa. Now get it. Because the way that Africa is portrayed to you. The way Africa is portrayed to you. And that's how they portray us all the time. The only time. You see them promote any kind of blackness. Our young men them have to be coming on like female and, and homosexual and all them something there. That's the only time they promote them up. But when they want to stand firm as a black man now. Firm, yeah, heterosexual black man, me love black woman. They have a problem with it. So we must mind what we attach our names to. You understand what I'm saying to you? Because we're more than just those things that they want us to be. We're greater than that. You understand what I'm saying to you? Let's not get um sexual things mixed up with the liberation of African people. You understand what I'm saying to you? Because when they come to kill you, they don't care whether you're um, Muslim, Christian, Jew, Gentile, African spiritualist. Them don't care whether you're a Batman, lesbian, transgender, any gender. Once you black, they are going to deal with your case. You understand me I say? So let's not mix it up. It's one thing. You understand what I'm saying to you? Let's not mix up this thing here and joke it out. I'm some more of a different agenda come about the place. Because let me tell you from now, me born at this country. Yeah. See? Born and grow here. Yeah. And I've seen other groups use our struggle to prepare themselves and advance themselves. And we still in the same condition today. And the traitors them got money. And rob the people them. Run off. Got big, big house with swimming pool. And all kind of something. Come me there for talk the thing. You ever saw me I say. So don't bother coming. I don't want nobody to come tell me about. About aid. And, and we need this. We got enough money in our community. If we galvanize ourselves together. And we got people that can protect us. And you young people. You young children who's out there affiliating with gangs. Some of you are even gangs. You're just a group of young youth them. And they're your brethren. But they call you gangs. You young black youths where one black youth can't walk, can't cross the road. Can't go in another area. Not because they're afraid of white people. Because they're afraid of other black people. Eh? What kind of madness is that? The descendants of the kidnapped people. You dishonor the memory of your ancestors. But it's not your fault, young black youths. Because you wasn't told. And I'm not talking about the system, the school. It's not the school responsibility to tell African children their history. It is our responsibility. So what happens? We demonstrate. You know, so we did a, we have a demonstration called the African Emancipation Day Reparation March. That has been going on since 2014. How many of you young black people, or even adults, came on that march? We will lobby the government about reparations. Because in all this thing, I haven't heard reparation spoken once. Me no want no justice, a vengeance, me want, and reparations. And that me a look. Repertory justice. The ability to define ourselves. Don't make nobody come and tell you how you must express your emotions about things. 
We are African people. We're very expressive. Uh, wait, man, come to me. Yes, you know, we've got to talk about um, getting in, in these things. And um, it says it's, it's quite dreadful. And we've got to get the law on them and then justice and etc. Me not talk them we are there. No. You understand me, I say. So we have to galvanize our people together. We can't do without you, young black men. You have to be strong enough to put down your differences. And I'm not being hypocritical because I was like that too as a you. You understand what I'm saying to you? And even as big man, we have some differences. But the only thing I don't I don't like is treasonous behavior. Uno call it infama. You understand me, I say? People that are in positions to assist our people to go forward. But they're more concerned about white people's feelings. White people being upset about what you said. For generation, white people never busy about you. And because people lives are mixed up you have relatives who have white partner this partner some relatives are homosexual and lesbian and all them things that people are afraid to speak their truth but i ain't afraid to speak my truth i'm not afraid to make people know the truth you understand what i'm saying to you and if people are really genuine about our situation and about they want to assist us to go forward and readdress the unbalance, my heart. Then they won't feel no way when they hear you speak your truth. They will humble themselves. You understand what I'm saying to you? And hear the message and try to do something with it. So on behalf of our ancestors, because like nobody now talk for our ancestors, and now George Floyd. Brianna and Aubrey and many, many more. Cherry Gross, Cynthia Jarrett, Sean Rigg. These are all our ancestors now. They have gone and many, many more. So much near me can't remember. Poor little Stephen Lawrence. You understand me, I say? And many, many, many more. I have to speak for our ancestors. Because nobody is speaking for them. And there's going to be more of it. They're going to kill us again. But we must be ready. To defend ourselves. As Malcolm. See you notice. They're pushing Martin Luther King all the time. They don't want to talk about Malcolm. Malcolm says. We are non-violent. With anyone. Who's non-violent with us. But we're not non-violent. With anybody who's violent with us. I'm not telling you lot to go out there and kill nobody. But I'm telling you to defend yourself by any means necessary. Because we only have one life. Sir so George Fly there. He was, he's, he was big enough to fight them man there you know. But he humbled himself. And where did he get him? And how many of our people have humbled themselves unarmed in a, in a land that you can carry arms? And they shoot them down, into, including black officers. Black policemen kill black people. Same way. They are the new overseers on the plantation. Showing Massa, look Massa. I don't have, I'll kill him for you Massa. You know you can trust me Massa. That's them. They're afraid to even talk when they see the man them doing wrong. And they know that them art it wrong. But them turn up there. Black police have killed black people all around the world. You've adopted your enemy's characteristics. Now we know there's crime. And nobody wants crime. And we need to have a police. An organization or something. I don't want to call it force. But we need to have that. To protect citizens, definitely. But if citizens are given the, the necessary opportunities, you won't have so much violence and corruption. You understand what I'm saying to you? 
Because let me, this is, uh, and I got a message for poor white people. You're being shafted, mate. They got you lot doing their dirty work. Them man who live up in the big higher echelons of society. They got you on a string, mate. Yeah? They've got you hating everyone else, blaming everyone else for your own ineptitudes, mate. Your own inability to survive. Remember this. It's not the foreigners that come to this country that run it. It's your government. And you need to learn maths because you're too illiterate. Because if you did the maths, the amount of foreigners in this country couldn't account for the amount of people that's unemployed. It's rubbish. And you lot are foreigners in other people's countries. So does that, does that mean that all the white people them that originate from England, that's in Canada, that's in New Zealand, that's in Australia, and the Solomon Islands, and... Uh, uh, um, um, South Africa and Botswana and Zimbabwe, Kenya, Namibia. Does that mean you know how to come out and come back to Britain and Europe? Because we can do that exchange. Because we don't mind leaving. Because they ain't shit here. You understand what I'm saying to you? So don't play the fool. And come out with your bigotry behavior because white people, you have no reasons to hate black people. You have none. And you know, strange enough, we don't hate you. Because if we did, you wouldn't be here. We'd have kill out the wall and the blows and skirt. So it's quite clear we don't. And we have reasons to have them feelings with you. And yet still after all of that. We go about our merry business. You burn down our towns. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Blackwall Street, Rosewood. You're wicked. So what I'm saying now, and I'm wrapping up here now, because I'm going to just stop in my car, because I'm bridging there. A reason. I'm going to say, I'm going to finger like a one vibe. Pan, pan, pan. Cause I'm going to really do the social media thing in us. Huh? But my brethren them do it. But me decide say no. I have to blaze a fire. You know see. Because don't matter all we have tried. As the original earthlings on planet earth. To get along. With this other species of so called human. It seems a pointless exercise. You amass, amass uncontrollable amounts of wealth. For yourself. You don't care that the ordinary man and woman down the road. Can't afford to pay their bill. Got to go to a um, food bank. In a country that is the six, supposedly six richest economy in the world. you got food banks here in Britain. Hundreds of thousands of people going to food bank. Got people now the money. This is the kind. That's what capitalism is all about. It's about selfishness. And you have to remember this, you know. I will be dead one day. Everybody who's watching this will be dead one day. And there's going to be children left behind. What kind of world we leave in there? Because eh? whatever spiritual or religious persuasion you follow, there's one thing that they all have in common. You have to face the judgment. Whatever that judgment is. You better have answers. And for all you treasonous black people who are so afraid to stand up in the face of white people and racist white people and talk to them, all of you look at yourselves. Because whatever you have is those black people that stood up in the face of adversity to fight for things that they themselves never got but knew that their descendants will and you dishonor them there's enough of you out there and the prophet is here to ail you out itepe ineke jea senebe timaji laro bu 
en kutu 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 bowe wale olodumare otep